hello everyone so yeah about a week ago we worked on this uh, system so as uh, this character is a modular character where uh, there is a separate mesh for the body and also the upper body cloth and the jeans and also shoes they are separate skeletal meshes so uh, last time i had some uh, animation synchronization issues uh, as I was using separate uh, animation blueprints for this and today I'm going to solve those synchronization problems uh, to properly match the animations in a modular character so yeah I worked on this project uh, last week and I implemented this modular character and as you can see here uh, there are some synchronization issues in the animations so as you can see there are some delays so because of the delays the now because the body and the upper body apparel and also the jeans are separate skeletal meshes because I wanted because this is a basically a modular character so therefore they are driven by a separate animation blueprint but even though they play the same animation there is a mismatch here so that's why you see this missynchronization issue so let's see how to solve that problem today so let's open this uh, character first and then I have already set the animation mode to use animation blueprint and then set the animacast like this uh, no Where's the yeah upper body? They also has the same animal classes like this. So maybe yeah. Let's try something else. Let me set this to none. And for this three also, I'll set this to none like this now it won't have any animations now it's like this and then uh, in the construction script let me drag and drop those and let's call set anim instance class for all of this what's the animation class it should be This one female character and MVP. All right. No, I still it doesn't work because I just wanted to check that. Yeah, if I can solve the problem like that No, we can't solve it like that way Alright, and yeah Someone had referred to me this part uh, This person Per also per so yeah 
let's see if we can do it this way using this set master pause component I haven't tried this before right so let's give it a try now I'll disable this part because that approach is not going to work so here I'll res uh, reset this to female character and a blueprint and yeah now let's see if we can do it this way set master pose component yeah to first let's implement this part this uh, copy pause from mesh part so for that let me delete this let's set master pause component mesh is the master bone component okay now I think I have to create a new animation blueprint for this so yeah let's create one animation blueprint with uh, a skeleton of female skeleton that's the one right let me check again skeleton is female skeleton yes animation blueprint using female skeleton instance PPA child mesh now um, the anim graph let's implement this part copy pose from mesh and connect it like this so let's promote this to a variable mesh to copy now let's call it parent parent mesh mm. so I don't really understand what's the connection between this mesh to copy and this part so anyway I am sure that I have to initialize this mesh to copy so let's do it here mm, in the construction script let's get get an instance we can't let's first set the animation club blueprint 
to PPHR mesh and then uh, in the begin play oh well I think it is already working yeah see it is working <laughs> okay so uh, is that because uh, does it work even without this I'm not sure yeah it is working even without that so we don't really have to create a child blueprint so now you can see mm. so it is properly working no synchronization is used okay so yeah alright so that's what I wanted to do today and I'll stop this episode at this point and thanks for watching so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club and link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye hello everyone so yeah about a week ago we worked on this uh, system so as uh, this character is a modular character where uh, there is a separate mesh for the body and also the upper body cloth and the jeans and also shoes they are separate skeletal meshes so uh, last time I had some uh, animation synchronization issues uh, as I was using separate uh, animation blueprints for this and today I'm going to solve those synchronization problems uh, to properly match the animations in a modular character